Good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Touch him up and let's go. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. <laughs> well, there's one fighter here, as we've seen time and time again, and she doesn't have the physicality. He doesn't have the overall strength against his opponent. But what does he have? Well, he has the greatest muscle that the human body has, the brain muscle. Use it. Be smart. Give angles. Get out. Keep your opponent off balance. If he's bigger and stronger, he needs a certain kind of set position to use that. Do not give that to him. And there he counters back against his opponent. The defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Halfway through this round here. Gets rid of that body shot. How is his strategy of employing the jab time and time again going to pay off for him? Well, it's going to be kind of like, you know, when you put your kids to sleep, you know? You get a little peace and quiet. <laughs> He's going to be left alone. He's not going to be bothered. He's not going to have a headache if he uses his jab. think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that hey they're more sure of themselves that these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves about confidence and really it's the opposite in some ways these big giants they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage they're also worried about damage being done to them Final 10 seconds. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that count of up. Make him pay for his misses. You have to start throwing in volume in there. Throw in volume. Here we go, round two is underway. Fires right back at him. Gets rid of that effort. Ortiz is much better on the outside, much better when he has some space and he's at long range. So pushing off here, creating space is the right thing to do.
Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Oh, look at that. They exchange hooks. Carries that punch intended for the head. Great movement to get away from those punches. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Watch the headshot. Tended to the head. That shot unable to land. Able to get rid of that one. He just missed that shot up top. Blocks that punch. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. And round number three is underway. It comes back with an overhand right. Blocked by bad intentions. <laughs> wow! Now look at him. He does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home. Locks away that headshot. Way to block there. He went from almost being knocked out to being right back in it. <laughs> Unable to land that shot. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Combination to the head. Showing you some defense. 
defense there with the block. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. And this round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas rings out. I'm just looking up at the corner here at this guy that just got tagged, Teddy, this fighter who just got stunned. And I'm thinking, boy, it's like the air's come out of him a bit. He looks just so dejected now. Yeah, you know, right now he's on the side of a mountain. You know, he's up on a cliff and he needs a rope to get down. So that's what you gotta do, Joe. You don't look and say, hey, he's up on a cliff. We know that. Give him a rope. Give him advice to get down. Able to counter that attack. Good-looking two-punch combination there. In and out, in and out, in and out. Let's move. Well, what do they say, Teddy? Something's got to stick? That combination was something. Well, you know what it was? The first couple punches were throwaway punches. Set up the later punches. Just missed. Hands up, hands up, down, down, use the jab. Fourth round now with its last ten seconds. around here and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score yeah it was and you know it's the kind of round where one guy would oh Ortiz is stunned by that shot you see how he does that right there how he just pushes away Ortiz has got a way of just getting away from that punch it is unbelievable how this fight is being fought both guys unwilling to stop. One guy goes at it, the other guy meets him punch for punch. Well, you've heard it before. You've heard the term used one day at a time to deal with something very difficult. Well, this is one round at a time. That is the only way these fighters, these warriors, could deal with this kind of pace. Defense. More defense. Good job staying away from the danger there. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. 
Ortiz has really got a way about him when it comes to his footwork, his movement. It's serving him very well defensively. Yes, it is. He's controlling range. He's controlling distance. He's keeping his opponent where he wants him. coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say tune in everybody should be watching this right i have a cell phone i might do that right now <laughs> start dialing seconds of this fifth round. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. So we come to the end of the round. And clearly a confidence booster for this man. He got to his opponent. He was able to stun him. Teddy, when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did, do you see them almost light up, like get a little boost of energy because of that? Yeah, it does build your confidence a little bit. You know, it makes you feel more secure. I can control this man. I had my way. Able to get rid of that one. Ortiz has got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. See the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. That just missed. Ortiz's opponent's probably looking at him right now saying, wow, you're not changing anything up. You know, he got to him moments ago. Now, he's got the same style that he's looking at again. Yeah, but he got to him moments ago. Got to him. One time. I think right now it's too early to all of a sudden throw everything out the window. But look for an adjustment if things don't change. If he can't get away from those punches, if he keeps having problems, he gets stunned again, then you might have to look for a change. You might have to make a change if you're going to survive. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Ortiz is throwing wide punches. If I'm standing opposite of that, I jump on it. Yeah, well, if you're the fighter, that's where you have to be kind of like into a Kodak moment, where you take a picture and you say, okay, I remember that, and the next time, bang, I'm going to take advantage. Hey, 
Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Ortiz's strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A here. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. Joe Calzaghi's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Accurate counter punch by bad intentions. What a fight. What a great, great non-stop action fight this has been he got hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by Joe Calzaghi what a good counter punch by bad intentions Ortiz's opponent has to find a way to close that gap. He can't just let him control this fight from the outside. And the way he's got to do it is, first of all, get to the starting gate. He's not getting to the starting gate. You know, his opponent stepping away from him. Step up into the right position a little bit. Bring your feet forward and then use that jab to come in. And make sure you take steps. Don't lunge. Walk your way in behind that jab. Locks it away. Keep oh, and there you go. Joe Calzaghi's almost out of it there. He was stunned. Keep busy, guys. Come on now. Keep busy. Protecting his head well with his guard. End of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. <laughs> nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Good-looking counterpunch. Not well targeted by bad intentions. Takes one but gives one. Good work by Joe Calzaghi. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Ortiz's cut is below the eye. He's going to have to really watch out for that. You don't want to damage that area. Good block by bad intentions. Keep your distance. Rain. Time. Nice block. Let's see the more heavy. Let's see the more heavy. Get out of the way. Good 
looking counter punch. the headshot but he parries it away Nice defensive guard there. He has found his groove with his right hand. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. That was not well targeted by bad intentions. Not able to connect with the uppercut. you'll ever see just great action now it's unbelievable i mean if you love roller coasters you go to an amusement park if you want to see left hooks right hands every direction great chins great endurance great heart you come to this fight you stay right here well done that time landing the counter punch Fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Good defensive skill. Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Kenny, it's one of my favorite times of one of our fight broadcasts. When we make the declaration, he has to have a knockout to win. And how's he going to do it? Well, I think he's got to be a photographer. He's got to be a guy that goes in the dark room, really, Joe. And start looking at the negatives. During the night, a lot of pictures have been taken. He's got to go now and look back at those pictures and remember something. That he saw something. He saw a moment. He saw a spot where the guy dropped his hand. He pulled back. And he's got to go and he's got to act on that moment. Carries that punch away. Ortiz's swelling is exactly what his opponent wanted to see. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has, or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counter punch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited, he can pick him off a little bit. 
Some fine fundamentals. Good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap day. Let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese. He used distance. And he returns on that exchange. Use your feet. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Joe Calzaghe. Good job staying away from the danger there. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left-hand score. Gets rid of that body shot. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. Blocked there by bad intentions. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. One of his own, a left-hand scores. He gets off with a combination up top. Looking right hand after he got hit. <laughs> Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. And 
now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Blocks that punch. 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Calzaghi. <laughs> the tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Defensive guard there. And a sharp counter punch by bad intentions. like an all-time classic. Punch for punch, they're beating each other. Entertaining fight. Now, the judges' and scores. And let's judges send it up to the ring announcer. All judges score the points. A unanimous decision. Your winner, bad intention. Ortiz. Ortiz is your winner by unanimous decision tonight. I'm not so sure it was unanimous. I had it a little bit close. I had a split decision, but had the same man winning. All three judges in agreement here, ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.